Hello YouTube. Tonight let's review some alcohol beverages. You know why? Because why the fuck not? Because, you know, alcohol is great for killing your memory of the shitty day you've had. So let's see, we've got some Yang Lang Lager. I already know what that tastes like. It's good shit. Uh, some Henry's Hot Orange Soda. If I remember, this is so-so. A new one that I have not tried. Mike's Harder Tiger's Blood. Strawberry Watermelon in Coconut. This is a limited edition collectibles. Series 7.0 edition 2.0. Ooh, ain't that just a pretty can. Makes you want to buy it and get drunk, don't it? And let's see, right here we got Mike's Harder Strawberry Lemonade. Harder Strawberry Lemonade. And of course, a regular old Angry Orchard Hard Cider. Yummy. First of all, I want to try the tiger's blood. Because, you know, tiger blood, you know, Charlie Sheen, tiger blood, yeah, you know, that's good shit, man. You can get some Charlie Sheen shit going on here. Two pounds of hookers and cocaine. Mm. Wow, crazy night, kids. Oh, uh, what does it say? More art what could be on the next can. More. They, they misspelled more. Oh, your. Ha. Ah, uh, your. Yeah. Okay. Your artwork could be on the next can for people to get drunk around. That is a pretty can, I have to say. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, let's see what it looks like. First of all, I have to get all these bad cans out of the way. Get on out of here. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, you don't want all that. Got our high baller, high dollar, uh, Clover Valley Dollar General bread and butter pickle chip jar. All cleaned out and ready to pow. It's pink. <laughs> That's what she said. It's a pinkish cranberry red. Mm, looks like Kool Aid. And it smells like Kool Aid. See what it tastes like. Um, definitely watermelon. Not real watermelon, but Jolly Rancher artificial flavoring watermelon. A little hint of coconut. It's a little hint of a coconut. And very, 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 very slight taste of strawberry. You can barely taste it. And it's got it's got that sour aftertaste that most artificial flavors have. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's, it's drinkable, but it, it tastes like the cheapest ethanol that they could find to throw in it. It definitely isn't the worst I've had. Now, you want to talk about bad? Talk about happy juice. Never buy happy juice. Happy juice is terrible. I, I don't think I've ever tasted anything so bad as happy juice. Besides, um, 
Thunderbird wine. <laughs> That's been it's been since my teenage years. Oh my god, I drank before I was 21. Can you believe that? Underwater Tiger by Scott Duber, Charlottesville, Virginia. Yeah, nice work uh, there. Uh, Scott Duber. Cheers, mate. Uh, out of 10, I give it for a pre-mixed beverage, of course, which none of these really taste that good, to tell you the truth. They all taste cheap and artificial and alcoholic. You know, it's going to get you drunk. 8% alcohol. It's going to get you drunk. One pint, 16 fluid ounces. Out of, oh yeah, uh, out of 10, I, let me give it. Then I give it a seven to an eight. It's not that good, and it's not that bad. But it does taste better than most. So, yeah, that one's worth picking up. Plus, it's got a cool can. I mean, you're going to throw it away anyways, but still, you know, gives you something to look at while you're getting drunk. Thanks, YouTube. Have a drunk, happy time.